Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a part two because I wanted to upload two videos because it's been a while since I've uploaded. And the second video is going to be dating as a trans woman. So, if you don't know, I am a trans woman. This is something that I get attacked about a lot actually recently. If you look at some of my videos, you will see, you know, it's a lot of dusty hoes that are upset and pressed that when I step out, you know, I'm looking better than their grandma. But that's neither here nor there. So, um, before we get too shady, we're going to talk about what it's like today as a trans woman. So, let's get started on how I date in the first place. So, because we live in the 21st century and not the day, like, you know, the 1800s, you know, pretty much all dating is kind of start, starts on social media. Like, and let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. Cause that's just how it works. Nowadays, you usually meet guys through Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, like some form of those. You don't really go out and meet guys like how you used to. Like, I'm pretty sure my parents kind of met um, through my aunt, but that's not how it is anymore. Like, that, that was a cute love story, but nowadays, it all starts on Instagram. Aside from that, you also have dating apps such as Badu, Plenty of Fish, um, OkCupid, okay Jack, Grinder, Christian Mingle, Black People Me, you know, eHarmony, Match.com. You got all these little sites where you can kind of meet people. I started off on a, um, specifically transgender dating site, but I started to realize that A, it was a bunch of ignorant motherfuckers on there, and B, I realized quickly on that none of the guys there were really in North Carolina, and none of them were really my type, so it was time, it was time to revamp. So I was scared to kind of put myself out there in the straight dating world, just because I felt as though, I don't know, it's like that fear of something violent happening. Like, it was the fear that like one guy would try to hurt me or something like that, which is always a risk. But I was ready to finally take that risk. And so I basically created a Badu. So when I first got on Badu, I at first didn't really want to tell people. Like my first go around with Badu, I didn't really tell nobody that I was trans. I kind of just was like, I'm going to fool them. Not really fool, but I wasn't going to really, I wanted to see what I was going to be able to do. If I was going to be able to pass. Because everybody knows that in the trans community, passing is a big thing. It's something that no matter what you, no matter how they word it to you, everyone wants to pass. You know, you, you want to be able to go into society and look like a woman. And I feel like now that I have like, you know, now that I've learned how to like, you know, put on fake boobs, like now it kind of helps, like it enhances my female likeness. But at the same time, um, as I said, you, everyone, every trans person, y'all hear this rain? in these cars. In the trans community, passing is a big thing. You know, it's just something that you want to achieve because it allows you to be able to assimilate and go into the real world and not have to worry about being discriminated in, in the workplace or being treated crazy in the club. Or it just, it just minimizes the violence, but it also can enhance the violence depending on how it plays out. But that's the internet. That's another, that's another video for me to make. Anyways, so I was kind of nervous about, you know, joining Badu, but after my first experience, I kind of dropped Badu and I was like, I'm not doing Badu no more. But then later on, I, in, later on my fall semester, my freshman year, I decided that I wanted to try it again because I was bored. It was fall break and I was ready to talk to some guys. So I made a new one and this was the one that I kind of went by, you know, with new pictures. You know, obviously I had some new enhancements, you know, and I... I had been improving on makeup skills and stuff like that. So, and I put trans in the bio. Now, and this is to all my trans sisters because, and to my trans brothers because y'all, y'all are at risk too. We're all at risk. I'm not going to sit here and play the trans men like they are not as much at risk, you know, for being who they are. But, um, y'all, let's put it, I'm going to put it to you like this. I get it. If you a bad bitch, props to you. If you can go out into the world and pass, great. But be careful. I feel like if I feel like you can never be too too passable to the point where you don't need to put trans in your bio. Like personally, I put trans in my bio. You know, some guys say, "Oh, well, I would have never guessed you were you were trans." Okay, that's perfectly fine. I'm glad that I look like a woman because that's that's what I am. I look. I want to be. I am a woman internally. So I'm glad that on the exterior it looks like that to you. But I want you to. You can't. Hmm. Do not try to make a decision for someone else. You will always end up in the wrong. Anytime you're not telling the whole truth, you are bound to get in trouble. 
I would rather a guy not want to talk to me because he don't like trans women. Not because I'm not a baddie, not because I'm cute, but because he doesn't like me being trans. And save me the heartbreak, save me the violence, save me the everything, than for me to lie about being, you know, not to lie about me, my trans identity. Because, and I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because, let's say in some, first off, you can't start off a relationship lying. Well, let's start off with that. If you start a relationship lying, it's already going to go bad. Like, if you start a relationship lying to that guy, you already setting stuff up. Because what goes around comes around. So he's going to lie to you. And how can you be mad that he lied to you if, you was, if you've been lying to him this whole time? And he, this whole time he's thinking you were, you, that he's going to be able to have kids with you and all this. Because it's, let's be honest. So all I'm saying is, it's better to be safe than sorry. You know, I'd rather him know up front that I'm trans and make his own decisions as a grown man. That way, anything he does after that is on him. <laughs> it's not on me. It's, it's, it has nothing to do with me. Whatever you choose to do with this information is view up to you. Although, in you know, most cases I'm trans everywhere you go. Like, now I'm getting pretty known, you know, in my city. So, it's like, you know, now it's kind of like being trans is pretty much all I'm going to be, you know. I can't I can't even lie at this point but aside from that so I started talking to some dudes and it was pretty much cool you know they were all kind of not really what I wanted because I wanted a relationship but I also wanted attention and I also wanted to try having you know S-E-X so um yeah it just wasn't it was just a bunch of random stupid dates that went nowhere like Cause I'm that person who like, okay, guys, I'm that I'm that one female. I'm her, okay. I'm not even gonna stunt. I'm that one female that hypes herself up to not do it. Like I will sit there and talk. Like yeah, you can come over and we can chill and da 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 da. da. But then when he mentions getting in his car, I'm like, I'm not responding. Cause I don't like, I don't like the pressure of being in the. I don't like the pressure of a guy being around me. I don't know. It's just weird, but I don't want to ramble. But basically, dating as a trans woman has proved to be difficult because there's a lot of key issues that you have to think about as a trans woman. A, a lot of the guys that you come across that are straight really just want to have sex with you. They don't want anything long-term with you, especially if you are not post-op. Now, I can't speak for the women who are post-op and, you know, they look like Shauna Brooks and, you know, I can't speak for those women because I don't, I can't, I'm not there yet. I'm not post-op and I don't think I'm a, a bad bitch. Like, I feel like I'm cute. I feel like I give off this, like cutesy vibe but I don't think I'm like a bad bitch yet like I feel like my bad bitchness is gonna be saved for when you know I get her installed but nonetheless let's continue on we have to deal with them a wanting to like have sex with you and that's all they want and b them being very ignorant about what it means to be trans and c you have to deal with some some guys who are just real real ignorant like I've had conversations with guys who've been like oh yeah well you're going to hell but can I have sex with you and you're just like really but really be really? Like, that's what we're gonna do? Then you have the guys who are like, um, well, they immediately want to know your biological business. They're like, well, did you get surgery yet? Is that still there? Does it still work? Do you have boobs yet? Like, and you just be like, dang, like, can you ask my name before you, like, imply about my sexual organs like can I can I have some privacy like I didn't ask you like does it work can you get it up is it you know STD free because that's a lot more important but all I'm saying is that dating as a trans woman can be quite tricky and I have I have, y'all know if you've seen my old video where I talked about some crazy dating stories I've had boys who go to my college hit on me like they would like talk crazy in front of their friends but then come in my inbox like the later on that night like hey da -da 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 -da. I've dated guys who I've known went to high school with uh, so you'll be surprised I mean a lot of people think that their men are straight or they think certain guys are straight which they are because I mean I don't consider myself to be a man so I feel like any guy who dates me is gonna look at me and be like that's a woman I like women so I'm gonna date her and I don't think you're gay for that I personally don't I feel like gay is when you are dating a man who identifies as a man who is a man I'm a woman I identify as a woman so therefore 
you're dating a woman, so that's straight. Yeah, just be safe, just know your surroundings, know your worth, don't let no man make you feel like you need his validation to be a trans woman. Don't feel like being a woman is all about how many guys you can get because just because you a boss don't mean you need to, you need a man to take care of you or you need a man to have sex with you to validate you know your gender identity. You are a woman regardless of what men find you attractive and look for the good guys who treat you right and call you beautiful in the morning because you deserve it and that goes for all the women. You know what? We need a women's revolution up in here. We need like to just stop talking to these boys that are just not worth our time because they are not worth our time and if my new motto is, is if he ain't calling me beautiful every morning if he ain't treating me the way I deserve to be treated then you gotta go boo you, we can't talk we can't be hot we can't like we just can't because it's a new day <laughs> but yeah so that's all for now guys so until my next video I'll see you guys a little bit later bye